Welcome back everyone. You may be wanting to go ahead and turn off auto update on any iPhone. So this is exactly the process on how to do so. So what you want to start off by doing is going into your settings app. So I'll go ahead and hop out of it and then you want to just go into the app just like so. And once you get into this specific page, what you want to do is you want to scroll down into general, which is right here. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the little soft or update icon, which is right here. And once you do that, you'll basically get into this little panel. Now, this is very important. You'll see the software update right here. You'll see the download and install button, the learn more button. At the very bottom, you'll see this automatic updates button. Now, I don't know which version of software came in. I think maybe it was iOS 12, but it could have came on iOS 4.13 as well. And basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on this automatic updates little icon bar right here. So you want to go and click on it, and then it's going to go ahead and show you exactly a couple of different things that you can do. So it's up to you whether you want to enable or disable it. So this is exactly what you do. So if you want to download the iOS update, aka meaning that if you want this update to download, but you don't want to install, then you want to go ahead and make sure this is enabled. But if you don't want to just install the update, you know, you want to download the update in the background, but you don't want to install it. Well, then you want this to be disabled. So if you disable this, it's not going to be able to install the update. All it's going to do is download the update. Now, if you turn this off, it's not going to download or install the update in the background. So what this means is that, you know, if your phone is set aside for weeks and weeks on end, you don't use it, but it's still powered on somehow, the phone is not automatically going to update until you go into this specific panel and click download and install. So it's going to wait for you to click on this in order for you to actually go and, you know, download and install the update. So that's exactly how to do it. If you want to turn it off, you go ahead and just click this off and it's not going to be able to do it anymore. But if you want to turn it on, then you go ahead and enable this, enable this, and it will not only install the update, but also download the update in the background too. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.